well, that was just an amazing fish, big red emperor. Now, to catch big fish doesn't mean you always need the heaviest outfit. It's amazing. This new sort of modern sort of Japanese graphite is amazing. This is the new Fishing WA Extreme 8 to 10 kilo rod. It's 7 foot in length, real strong. Now, you can run up to 30 pound braid over it. The good thing about 7 foot, you can whip the tip of the rod there for your softy to get plenty of action through the water. Now, the reel wise, this is a Shimano Stellar reel with a silky smooth drag system. Awesome little reel. The most important thing is your braid. This is the new Extreme braid. It's around about 20 pound. Very well priced there, the Extreme braid. Now it's my leader. Now into my Extreme braid there, I've just tied a bimney. Pretty straightforward. Why tie a bimney? The, if you double up the braid, it's actually going to make it a lot better for knot strength. So when you tie your knots, it's not going to cut into your mono leader. I'm talking about leader, this is fluorocarbon. That one there's 50 pound. Now you can use 60 pound extreme mono trace line, that works as well. Around about a metre and a half in length. Now down to the business end. This one here is the pristine three ounce jig head. Good sort of shaped head there for swimming your soft plastic. Real strong hook. And down to the most important thing, McCarthy six inch paddle tail. This one here is the, uh, they call it an elf colour, baby elf. Just basically matching the hatch. A lot of bait fish down there. And look at that. It's all ripped up, but yet I can still reuse it again. So after a big fish like that, still reusable. Awesome. All right. I'm just saying you had a hit before, now. It's a good fish, mate. Good fish. Now we talked before about bite time being 2 o'clock, is it amazing, 2 o'clock now, Red Emperor, mackerel, it's all happening right now, and look at it, Hazza, look at that. Jeez, that's a good fish. Nice bend in the uh, PE 3 to 5 FWA rod. Yeah, I'm trying to get this one off the bottom. Turn the heads, don't you? You really do. There's a lot of coal, a lot of structure. If you give them any more than sort of five or ten metres, they'll put you into the hole. So, yeah, first few sort of like pump winds go real hard on the fish, turn the heads, get them up, and then you can slow it down. That's a good fish, mate. That is definitely a good fish. Want a gimbal butt? Yeah, if we want around. Thing, we'll just grab one out of the glove box. Whew. Tell you what, I think I managed to get this one turned. I think. These fishing WA rods actually come with a rod butt, like that one there, rubber butt. At the same time, you can take the cap off there and fight it with the gimbal belt. In this situation, Harry's got no gimbal on, so we'll just put the cap back on. A little bit more comfortable for the, oh. the pressure. Oh, yeah, I thought I was going to lose something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might it's on the water. I'd better get that away. If you want to go to the left, mate, I'll get it out of your way. Now, what are you calling it for? I know there's a bit of a smorgasbord down there. Well, the last one, we, I had no idea. It didn't really fight like a Mackie because it was always down the bottom, but uh, I don't think this is a Mackie. It's a lot bigger than the, the other one was. Maybe a 13 and a half kilo Red Emperor? Oh, maybe a 13 and a half or uh, and, and another half. Yeah. <laughs> Just to pit me. <laughs> Isn't amazing, even though it's still so windy, the fish are still feeding, no problems at all. Go for another run. Gotta love that parabolic rod action there. Parabolic, a lot of people say, what's that? Basically where the actual rod really bends all the way through down to where Harry's holding the actual foregrip. So para parabolic rod, sorry, means more pressure on the actual fish, less pressure on your back. So you can bring up big fish with lighter gear. I think I might be around you, mate. So I'm gonna... oh, I am. Here we go, get a Do you wanna get the net? Yeah. Okay, in the net. Here it is. Got the net. I reckon you've got a shell around you, so I'll just drop the net for a sec.
Sambo, I think. Yeah, Sambo. Yeah. Yeah, looks like a Sambo. Okay. Look at that, Ryan. Nice Sambo. Yeah, nice Sambo. Right right yeah, yep. yep. Oh, oh. oh he's gone. <laughs> he spat the extreme jig. Only if he realised we were going to release him anyway. Oh, see, that's a self releasing hook. <laughs> <laughs> Now the sound is still alive with fish. It's just past two o'clock, so the bite time is still there. Let's do another drip hat. It's being nailed. Yeah, the new, yeah, that, that one there is the 220. Yeah. Yep. The new extreme jig, 220 grams. I think they sell for around maybe 15 dollars. Real well priced, and you know what? They work. Well, let's get back in there, mate. Throughout Fishing WA TV series, you've seen us use the extreme gear. Let me show you just some of the products. We've got the Extreme PE Braid, very well priced, from Brim Braid all the way through to Jewfish, awesome stuff. We've got the Extreme Hooks, from Skippy Size all the way to Jewfish, Snapper, you name it, ultra sharp, ultra strong. We've got the Metal Slice, everyone loves Metal Slice there. From Herring all the way up to Taylor Salmon Size, great product. You always need Leader, the Extreme Leader, from low poundage all the way up to the heavy stuff there for offshore deep water fishing. If you're chasing Jewfish or Snapper, Bolch and Groper, the Octo Jig and the Metal Jig, all different sizes, different colours, this will get you a lot of reef fish and out of the rods. The Fishing WA Extreme range is huge, from squidding to bottom bouncing to trolling to poppering to jigging, you name it, we've got it. Very well priced, ultra light. Check them out at your nearest Extreme Tackle retailers or check them out online, extremetackle.com.au. Yeah, he, went, he was hungry so he took yours as well. <laughs> Alright, pump wine. Come on Ryan, turn Lots this fish. Wind. Yeah, it was definitely a very demersively uh, type of fish. Yeah, I'd say you get a lot of big cods here, like extra cods, potato cods. In this situation he's taken your jig and buried you out the end with that. Oh, took me in the uh Reef and uh, snap me off, mate. Yeah, well, it's amazing. We've actually landed a lot of big fish. We've also lost a lot of big fish. Well, hopefully, you've got it on now, mate. Should I give you my sunnies, mate? There's a bit of water on there. Thanks, mate. Throw them in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> Love my spotters in this situation, but the sun's starting to set now. Which means I don't need it so bad. This one's sort of come up a little bit easier than yours. Well, at first mine was sort of coming up and then it just... Also, I think it was it went in its cave a little and yeah. Well, we can land the small ones. It's coming up easy? It's coming up real easy. So I don't actually know what I've got. Certainly been a great arvo there, Harry. It certainly has. That decision not to come out too early in the morning, come out with that arvo bite has paid off. Bit of wind in Cowberry, but the fish don't care. Oh, now it's deciding to... Have a bit of a go. <laughs> yeah, it's so, where it just... Oh, I'm away. <laughs> oh, well, there's a boat. Wrong direction. Look what I got here, cobia. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, cobia. I'll get some net out, mate. Hey, there's a shark just beneath it. Harry, quickly Is grab it? the net, All mate. Right. Yeah, I'll get the can. net out quickly. Yeah, the big we'll bronzy. The water. Big bronzy underneath it. Is that one. Oh. Hang on, free spool. Have a look at that. Oh, man. oh man, she's got some weight. Jeez, on the soft plastic. Look at the jig head, just on a schnozzer. There's the jig head just in the schnozzer there. Now, I actually changed over my soft plastic instead of that baby elf colour. I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. Use the chartreuse colour, chartreuse pearl. And he's snaffled that. All we'll do is we'll get out of the net. We'll give you a close look at this beautiful fish. Well, mate, we've had it all today, mate, haven't we? Absolutely. As mentioned a couple of times before, a lot of wind today. It's not dangerous, just a little bit uncomfortable, but we're here to actually get some great footage. Time to release the fish. Get that go. Nice cobia. Cowberry cobia. If you can maybe see at home just there, a little bit of shadow there. Beautiful coloured fish. Often confused as a shark when it's coming up because of the dark top, white belly. Your lucky day. They really are beautiful eating, but with the Red Emperor in the ice box, his lucky day. Off he goes. Kick, kick, kick. Woo! Oh, God. Mate. Well, mate, what a bloody great day. day. 
Well, uh, well, the wind's here and the rest, so I think it's time for a, you know what, a beer? Yes. And uh, let's get back. All right, long trip home, but it's well worth it. We're in a fantastic trip for two people joining the Great Escape Charter Company. This is a four night, five day Kimberley fishing extravaganza aboard the MV Great Escape. The cruise package includes a return charter flight from Broome to Doubtful Bay and a helicopter transfer to the vessel. Also in the drawer is an amazing folding trailer from Bulldog Trailers. It's easy to use, easy to fold away and store. This fantastic prize is valued at $2,000. Extreme Tackle Australia are giving away an extreme powder fish package valued at $2,000. You'll enjoy their brilliant rods and some of the best fishing tackle going around. For more details and to enter Fishing WA's great summer giveaway, go to www.fishingwa.com or pick up a copy of the Fishing WA magazine at your local newsagent.